for today is <laughs> seasons, right? Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to be truthful, truthful with you. Um, I taped last week on the same topic, but it was something telling me not to post it because I felt that I was just being, um, just ranting on how I feel about stuff. So that's why there was no vlog last Friday. Um, yeah, so I had to be honest. So we're gonna talk about seasons, but it's gonna be whatever God gives me. Okay? So let's get into it. Okay. Um seasons. So no, we have seasons in the natural, right? Winter, summer, spring, fall. Favorite, favorite season for me is summer. Um, because you get to wear less clothes. <laughs> you don't have to be layered up. That's what I mean. I don't walk around here and get killed off man, okay. But um yeah. So we have that, but the seasons in the Spirit are different at times, but they're the same way. It comes the same time at times, but you can repeat a season. And how you can repeat a season is if you're still holding on to stuff that you that you went through in the last season. So. In other words, you're not really elevating to the next season. You're just, just going into the new season with the same stuff from the old season. If that makes sense. Um, and you just, you keep, yes, keep creating cycles. Basically, in each season that you go in in your life. And they won't get broken until you come to the road of realization that you have them that you realize you're going through the same stuff over and over I'm not going in cycles so it's like why do you why why do you want to keep going in cycles why do you want to keep doing that to yourself would you know that God has prepared you for better. That God has predestined you for better. But you have to, you have to get inside yourself. You have to pray. You really have to search inside yourself to see what you are doing wrong. It's not other people that are doing stuff wrong to you. You have your, you're accountable for you and only you. Okay. 
I say this because that was me. I used to play, play the blame game to people. But I had to come to realization that it's me, okay? So, so don't go into a new season with the same stuff that you had in the last season. Okay? So, and plus, seasons are supposed to, supposed to grow. Grow, yeah. Like, oh. What's that? What's that? What's that season? What's that season? Fall? Yeah, it's fall. You're planting. You're planting your seed. Farmers plant seeds in the ground. Seed in the ground. I got seed. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Yeah, you plant seeds in the ground. Um, and, and in spring it blooms. So, you're planting seeds in the ground, but you have to be careful if there are negative seeds. See, the negative seeds are stuff when you say, oh, I can't do this. Oh, how am I going to get through this? Oh, I don't know if I can make it through. That's your negative seeds. So, your negative seeds are planted. And once that spring comes and, you, and, and, and it blooms, and you wonder why oh why all this negative why is stuff not happening? Because you planted negative seeds. So when you plant positive seeds, you're gonna get a positive bloom. Everything is going to come out so positive. You're going to get thoughts and stuff because you spoke it. Because death in life is in the power of your tongue. This you speak and things that you speak will sow seeds. Things that you speak will sow seeds. Say with me. Things that you speak will sow seeds. So you have to watch what you speak because as you're going into a new season, you don't want to just still be stuck in the same season because you Planted those negative seeds in the spiritual ground. So, yeah. Watch what you plant. Ah! Watch what you plant. Watch what you plant. And also in seasons is um, growth. But you have to know growth. Oh, wait. Seasons is the growth, right? You're growing and you have people. You have people, some people are seasonal and some people are temporary. So as you're going to seasons, your new season, um, you have to have that good discernment to determine whether or not these people are seasonal or they're forever. Okay? I mean, I said different. I said different. Seasonal is temporary. Okay. Seasonal or they're supposed to be like forever. You know what I'm saying? Or they, they're supposed to go into the next season with you. But not necessarily when you elevate to another season. You gotta really determine that. And when you know people are no longer in your season, right? Do not, do not get scared. Don't get scared. And I'm going to talk about that more after the commercial break. <laughs> commercial break is your commercial break. Highlighting three businesses or ministries or authors. And this week is authors. Our sponsor is anything that has God in it. Okay. First person up is... Vanessa Harris Greenlee. This book in the picture is called At Last. She has many books that she has written and they are good. Find her books on Amazon. Just type in her name and all her books will come out. 
all right all right next one is patiently awaiting by patrice applewhite i'm gonna need y'all to go read this book you can also find this book on amazon so like go and get this book okay okay you won't be disappointed all right all right and now let's get back to the topic let's get back to the topic oh 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 gonna get back to the topic get back to the topic did you enjoy the commercial break i hope that you did okay so let's get back into it i'm talking about caesar's um people in your caesar's and people are some people are seasonal and some people are forever okay and some people can go into the next season with you, but they don't go into the next season after that season. Um, and you have to have discernment. And, yeah. So, me. I used, I was... People in your seasons, you don't know. Nah, I had people... That was <laughs> for good long. I was, I'm thinking they're gonna be forever, but they're not. Um, I had people that shouldn't have been in more than one season. Yeah, you, you probably had that too. People that should not have been in should only have been one season of your life to help you. So you keep people. That short being only one season in your life, um, and you take them into the next season of your life, you are wondering why, why, you, um, you and that person, whether your friends, whether you, whether it's your boo, or whatever it may be, you're wondering why. Oh, why are we having all these arguments? Why are they getting on my nerves? Like people are going on your nerves, but. It's a frequent getting on your nerves, freaking you want to tell them off all the time, and you're not realizing that they were not supposed to be into, they were not supposed to enter into your um, new season that you have just entered into, but you didn't realize that you didn't have enough discernment to realize that, so you just be like. Ah. And then you try to cut them off, and you have having a whole time to do so. When you try to cut them off, no, okay, just learn, learn people, okay. Not to learn them, um, learn. I'm just going to keep saying, learn them, pray, decide, learn, pray, decide. what you got to do um for me i don't know what it is i'm thinking people are supposed to be forever but people he and people are not supposed to be and i know some people are not supposed to be forever in my life and um and i know it's the lord telling me but i then yeah i've been stubborn not wanting to really do so in per se um not really wanting to be obedient but and i've been there and <laughs> got me nowhere so i'm learning that entering into the season and saying if I have no connection, if I don't, yes, if I don't feel a connection with somebody, um, that wouldn't be a smart decision to take that person to the next season of my life. That wouldn't be a smart decision to still be, um, 
going to them for any kind of thing. That wouldn't be a smart decision. If that makes sense to you. So, why was I doing? You know what I'm saying? And just because certain people are not uh, just because I don't feel that certain people should be in the next season of my life or I know there's God telling me that you've grown apart, you've grown away you don't stay because you just feel like you have to be connected don't stay or still be connected because people who you're close with still connected don't do it because then you're going to feel resentment then you're going to feel mad then you're going to feel anger then you're going to be all sad you're going to feel all those kind of emotions you know and you don't want to repeat i i can't you don't want to repeat and I don't want no more repeating of anything I've done, said, went through. No more cycles. And that's why. It's imperative that you go to God for yourself. I always make that known. You have to go to God for yourself. Quit going to people. That's the way God saying about me. You got a mouth. You got a body. You got vocabulary. Go to God for yourself. So, sorry. Um, I can't. And it's no. You think I love people? But, no. You, there's no, if there's no uh, connection, you don't feel a connection anymore then break free don't be bound you know and I'm sorry if I feel like I'm and oh Jesus when you break free when you stop doing things because you just want to be a part Just because you want to be a part of something. Because you think that's going to take you somewhere. Or you, you just want a different platform. <laughs> but you're not realizing that you keep doing, keep doing. Keep doing and people that you keep doing for think that you're supposed to keep doing it but not realize that you have grown from it once I've grown from it I'm not going to be a part of it I'm not going to feel all the emotions I felt when I was connected to it I'm not going to feel all the emotions I felt when I was connected to it I'm not going to feel, oh, I'm not really being me completely. I'm not going to feel that no more. I have to be me completely the way that God made me. So, I'm sorry. You have not entered this new season. You just didn't enter. Forgive me. I mean, I don't care. But forgive me. But... Like, it's time, Kiki, take care of Kiki, and not worry about, yo, yo, no, it makes sense, <laughs> but, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no more, no more am I doing that, I've entered a new season, season series, um, no more cycles.
No more cycles, okay? So, it ain't me acting funny. <laughs> ain't me acting funny, honey. It's me realizing me. It's me walking into what God made me to be. This new season, I'm finally walking into what, who he made me to be. Who he called me to be. Not worrying about who do not like me. Who do not like what I'm doing. Guess what? Y'all Negroes ain't God. Y'all Negroes ain't out of heaven ahead to prove me in. Y'all don't wake me up every morning. Y'all don't let me go to sleep every night without no complications. No. No longer am I doing that. Because I've been to new seasons. Okay? Oof. Because it's my season. It's my season. Working at it. Slowly progressing. But I'm in my new season. And I have no time. You ain't no time on a... No. That's just no. No, no, no. Okay? And you... You chill in? It's growing and growing each day, okay? So, that's all I got to say. So, discern your seasons. Discern your seasons. Do not take people, things into your new season. Just let it go. If God says let it go, let it go, okay? So, I'm done. Goodbye. I hope you have a good, wonderful week. Okay, so, just want to add one more thing to my video before it ends, right? Talking about seasons. Um, you know, knowing when it's your new season. Knowing, I talked about letting people go or letting your past go. Not letting people go. Letting people go who you know the Lord told you to let go, right? Um, I posted something about, um, are you connected or are you attached? Uh, and that goes with your seasons, right? So when you know you're connected to somebody, um, you don't have to feel like you're fighting for a spot in their life. Like you don't have to fight for a spot in your, your their life because you're connected. You know, and when you're attached to somebody, you you feel like you always got to fight for a spot in their life. So, as it pertains to seasons, do not get caught or don't end up regretting letting go of connections that were supposed to go with you in the next season. And you stay right there for some attachments that ain't even supposed to be in your life. And you wonder why your emotions up and down, up and down, up and down. You wonder why um, it's you don't feel like appreciated. You wonder why like you always feel rejected. Because you hold on to attachments into a new season. You're just going to keep going through cycles, boo-boo. So, like I always say, discern. Okay? Discern. Have, ask God for discernment. Each and every time you pray. So you can be able to discern what are attachments, what who are attachments, and who are connections. So you don't make a mistake of bringing an attachment into the next season and leaving a connection into your last season. So we gotta let's do this, okay? Okay? Alright, I'm done. Hope anything I say said bless you. I believe I already said that, but I wasn't planning on making the video before that. You know, you know, okay, okay, okay. Hey, what's up? I'm glad that you stayed to watch the whole video. Please, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel if you are a new watcher. And also, if you are not a new watcher, you never subscribe. Um, what are you waiting on?
please subscribe okay and also follow me on all of my social media platforms that i have in regards to a journey to freedom facebook instagram and twitter okay so please hit me up peace out